In our design program, students are learning how a fast-paced production studio operates and the methods, tools, and techniques of high-quality game design. Whether it's for your entertainment games or serious games, these students come out with the skills and abilities to publish their work or other games. Game design to me is both the ability to be able to go into a game and create 3D models, which can then later be used as, as in-game assets. Game design could be going into a program in like Maya or 3D Studio Max and being able to create a really nice looking barrel for a player to, to blow up. Our video game design stream looks not only at entertainment games but also at serious games and multidisciplinary approaches to using game technology. Game design is also working with the programmers to be able to decide on the functionality of the games and what's going to happen in the games and then working together making it happen more on a visual level whereas the programmers would be working on a more uh, behind the scenes level. The students that graduate our video game design program come up with the skills to operate 3D Studio Max, Adobe Photoshop, Unity 3D, C Sharp, C++, various languages. The fundamentals course would take a video game and dissect it uh, down into its individual parts from characterizations to, to stories and that to examine what makes a game fun so that when we then started creating assets and that we had in the back of our mind, okay, what type of game do we want to make? How are we going to make the game fun? What's going to be unique about our gameplay that's going to keep players coming back? And, and how do we tie it all together with what uh, with the visual assets that we have and the ability of the, of the programmers and the programming engine that we're working in. Our game design program also looks at audio development, writing, visual communication, and working with various subject matter experts from different industries. The nice thing about the DMIT program is that when you go into the uh, visual design stream and the game development stream, there's a lot of overlap courses there, which is very useful for when you're doing 3D de design. You need to have a basic understanding not only of the 3D design, but you also need video game fundamental courses. Um, in addition to that, the, the flexibility, the ability to take multiple courses within the game design stream allows you to not only focus on game design, but then to take web development as well, uh, to take database if you want to, to take audio design courses as well. There's, there's flexibility there to, to, to really tailor your experience within the program.